Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In the Number tab of the Format Editor dialog box, you can set options for the display of numeric fields in the report. You can select one of the many preset numeric displays for numbers and currency fields from the style list that's displayed at the left side of this tab. If you happen to have a currency value field selected, then you can check the Display Currency Symbol checkbox to apply a currency symbol to the field's display. If checked, then below that you can select either the Fixed or Floating option. If you select Fixed, the currency symbol will always appear at the left edge of the field. If you select Floating, the currency symbol will appear directly to the left of the number itself. Clicking the Customize button launches another separate dialog box called the Custom Style dialog box. Here you can create your own custom displays for the number and currency symbol used for the field's display. On the Number tab of the Custom Style dialog box, you can check the Use Accounting Format checkbox to set the appearance of the object to a traditional accounting display. Checking this option will display negative numbers in the report by referencing the Windows Regional Settings. They will then be displayed as either a minus sign or by brackets. This will also determine the position of the negative symbol. In addition, the dash symbol will be used to display zero values in the report, and the currency symbol will appear fixed at the left side of the field. Checking the Suppress If Zero checkbox will hide the field's display in both the printout and the preview if it is zero. You can use an alternate character for the decimal separator by typing one into the decimal separator text box if desired. Otherwise, the period character is used by default. You can use the Decimals drop-down to truncate the numeric display to the number of decimals specified by the drop-down. If you check the Thousands Separator checkbox, you will enable a separator for the thousands values within your numeric display. The character used is set to the comma character by default, but you can specify another character to use if desired by typing it into the symbol text box. You can use the rounding drop-down to select the number at which you would like the value displayed in the selected field to be rounded. You can use the Negatives drop-down to select the desired appearance of negative numbers within the selected field. Checking the Leading Zero checkbox will add a leading zero to the display of decimal numbers between 0 and 1. Checking the Reverse Sign for Display checkbox will reverse the traditional signs used to indicate debit and credit values in financial reports. You can use the Show Zero Values As drop-down to select the format used for the display of zero values in the selected report object. If the Allow Field Clipping checkbox is checked, field values that are longer than the displayed length of the field in the report are truncated. If unchecked, the field's values will not be truncated, but will instead appear as pound signs, as they do in Excel, for example. The pound signs indicate that the field is simply too narrow to accurately display the correct field's value. Once you've made the desired selections to your custom numeric style on the Number tab, you can then click the Currency Symbol tab to set your own custom display of the currency symbol if desired. You can check the Enable Currency Symbol checkbox to enable the display of a currency symbol in the selected report object. If checked, you can then select either a fixed or a floating display. If you check the One Symbol Per Page checkbox, the currency symbol will only appear next to the first value displayed on each page in the report for the selected number field. You can use the Position drop-down to determine the position of the currency symbol displayed. You can type a currency symbol to use as the currency symbol into the currency symbol text box if the default symbol of the dollar sign is not desired for the report.
Now once you have made your custom number selections, simply click the OK button at the bottom of the Custom Style dialog box to return to the Number tab of the Format Editor dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.